Hey guys, RC here, back with Climbing the Ladder, episode 9. We're going to go ahead and get into the match first, and then go in and look at the transfers. But uh, you'll notice some new faces. You might be cognizant enough that you might recognize a few faces that are missing. But uh, we will go over that. Uh, we're going with Sommer and Weigel up top. Gilroy and Forster on the wings. Uh, Kostman drops back to central mid. Polisteris in his normal position. Bender and Heinrich on the wingbacks. Dreesen and Blazik. And Fitzpatrick in goal. So a few new names. Weigel up top. Gilroy, Forster, and Fitzpatrick for sure. Let's get to it. We also have Quinn on the bench for the keeper. And we've got a couple of young players that we are going to have to number. Those are guys from our B team. Uh, probably will not play a huge role, but, you know, they will see just due to fitness and, and readiness concerns. Uh, we'll see some game time. Uh, usually I like to give the little green talk uh, at the beginning of the season. Uh, I did wait to do that for you guys. But we are heavily favored, 4-4-2. They're playing a 4-1-4-1. And we are off the mark with three shots, two of them on target. Uh, so let's tell them to uh, get creative. They're actually generating. We just need to put something in the net. All right, they've got the highlight here. And that doesn't bode well. would like to see us get the ball here oh hello wow are they running a replay here no Forster with the interception he's off to the races he's got people coming and he puts it at the goal and goes wide right we had some runners there we had some runners happening seven shots five on target Three half chances created. All right, let's uh, demand more for the final 10 minutes, or at least most of the 10 minutes. Weigel's playing a 6-5. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to say, we're going to be uh, assertive. No, we don't want to do that. Unlucky. All right, nobody's playing poorly in this one, though. All right, here we go. Gilroy from the corner. It's near post, gets headed out. Weigel gets the ball. He lays it off. Kossman! Whoa, he took a ping at it. I would have felt better if it was our starting center midfielder doing that shot. But, of course, he's on the shelf. Let's see. Tell you what, we had one guy, Heinrich, he's on a yellow. Let's put Blazik outside, and then we will bring on... Who do I want to put there? Do I want Allensbroder or Hoffman? I think I want Allensbroder. All Allensbroder. All right. We are under pressure. Oh, our defender gets torched. Oh, they were off target. Thank goodness. All right, there's another sub for us. All right, we need to demand more. All right, another set piece. Corner comes in. It's Stan Dreesen, second goal of the season. Gilroy with the assist, and that has given us the 1-0 advantage. All right, I do want to do a little time-wasting now. We go to a kickoff highlight. I don't like that. Unless we pounce on it here and uh, go in and score right away. Doesn't look like that's going to happen here. All right. Well, they were just kicking the ball around the center circle. It was a little game of murder ball. All right. Uh, let's go well, Forster on the right. Let's bring on... Let's bring on the Bucky. I don't know how to pronounce that. Lupke, Lupke, Lupke. All right, Gilroy, another set piece into the box. Good save by Allberg. He lumps it out real fast. Oh, and Stangy 
beats our defender with a brilliant first touch and knocked away. Oh, my God, our keeper made a save. We did not see many of those last year. And we hold on. 23 shots, four chances created, half chances, but still. But that keeps us going on a good run, and we're going to be assertive. Important to switch to the next match and not become complacent. All right. We'll be right back for the next match, but before we do that, we will hit the transfers. All right, we are back. Let's take a look at the transfers. Uh, we did have quite a few moves that we made this year, so we will take a look. You can see we made $3 million in sales, spent $250,000, and there are some names in here that may or may not shock you. Uh, Lucas Lang was our second uh, goalkeeper. Let him go on a free. Michael Costman was a left back. Uh, he really lacked a lot of pace and uh, couldn't play center back very well. Let him go on a free. Daniel Basler, I actually liked him, but again, he wasn't the best, and so we let him go. Uh, Sebastian Feichtinger, he was another center back. He was the one that was really slow. He's only 19, and he's Austrian, so that hurt, but um, he was never going to play with those ratings. Max Henneke, our starting keeper, he stays in country with Rapid Wien and goes for 27000 you know, I, I signed him for way too much because he's only valued at 100000 now, and he's making 154. He was making almost 300000 for us. Uh, so we sell him uh, Barsani off for 105000 I was looking at the players that we could move and try to cut our wage bill, and our left winger, Armin Ellers, uh, young, 24, Austrian, liked him. But he was valued and he was making over $400,000. We sell him for $700,000. Now we're going to get five seventy-five dollars up front. The add-ons get it to seven hundred, dollars And these are legit, like after 50 games or in installments. So we'll get that money. Uh, these aren't like never-never add-ons. Uh, Ralph Brahman, he goes out on loan after we signed him this year. Actually, we did not sign him, but he goes out on loan. Fausto Scardovi, this is one of those things that sometimes I don't pay enough attention. I signed him because I wanted him. He was a decent enough player, and he could play on the right wing. And, you know, we had gotten an offer for Daniel Beck, our starting right winger, another young Austrian. Uh, he goes with Henneke to Rapid Wien, but we're going to get $2.8 million for him. I couldn't say no to the to the offer. It was at valuation, and at this level, I'm just not getting any type of money. So I had to do that. You know, we've got to be a selling club, and he was another one making close to 400000 Between Ellers and Beck, we saved over three-quarters of a million dollars a year in payroll. So, uh, and we made, you know, what's that, $3.4, $3.5 million. So uh, we moved them out. Scardovi, I signed him. Basically, we signed him on the first we had already gotten the offer for Beck. It was to replace him or at least be depth. And then I realized I had too many foreign players because he's Italian. We can only have seven. So I had to sell him. And we took a loss and, you know, live and learn. On the intake side, Andreas, Andreas Baum, a 20-year-old Austrian. This is a guy I originally signed to be depth. I have a starter on the club already, a young player to replace Ellers on the left wing. And I saw Baum, and I said, you know, he's not bad, and he can play left and right. So he gives us depth. He gives us a backup option, and he's Austrian, so we'll sign him. Uh, John Grima, we had already – these are guys we had signed prior to last year that we already looked at, but they just joined the club for this season. John Grima – uh, he was slated to be a depth at right wing, but now he's going to be competing for that starting role. Uh, Jamie Quinn brought him in to be our number one keeper or at least compete for it. Uh, Ethan Gilroy, he is going to be our starting left winger, and that's why Ellers basically became expendable. Ellers is better, I'm not going to lie, but Gilroy's pretty good, and uh, he's been starting for us. Callum Fitzpatrick cost us $10,000 from 
Lincoln City, and he's in the mix for the keeper job, and I actually think he's a little bit better. Fabian Sturm can play any one of the mid, mid positions. Uh, he's natural at central mid. He can play the defensive mid, and he can play center back, and he can do them all relatively well. His heading's a little low for center back, but he can do the job there if he needs. And he came on a free. He was actually released. Uh, Marius Forster, uh, we signed him as another right winger. This was after Beck did get signed, and I said, okay, I need to build some depth. He's going to be a reserve player on that there. And then I decided at the last minute I did want one more striker, So we, uh, especially with selling Barsanti, who was our number three. So uh, Beigel, basically he's going to be one of our top two strikers now. He's going to replace Kostman, I believe. I tried to sell Kostman, but nobody offered him. Vigel's cost us 65000 And just flashing back here real quick, there's our friendlies. Uh, we did have quite a few of these that were considered, five of these, I believe, were considered historic wins in the club's history. And these were games that usually I let my assistant manager handle all the friendlies, scheduling them. And that's why we ended up around the, the league opener and the cup. We ended up with quite a few friendlies going into the season. I guess the way it works is if you give that job to your assistant manager and then you override him and you schedule friendlies, he is still going to schedule the same amount that he thinks you need. And that just ends up being more. Problem is, he signs some that will cost us money or won't generate any revenue. I specifically went out this year and I was saying, who can we play that will pay us a big fee? Well, a road game to Basel. They paid us about $40,000, uh, and we beat them 3-1. How you like that? <laughs> that was one of the historic wins. Um, young boys beat them 4-1. Somner and Blazek both with braces. Another historic win. Dynamo Kiev, a hat trick from Havranek, was considered historic. And Sampdoria was considered historic. 3-0 clean sheet. And then in the league, we beat Kapfenberger, uh, Gilroy, Petrov, and Havernek with goals. Uh, Gilroy, debut, brace. And actually, Gilroy made, had a hat trick in his debut, his official debut in the Cup. And then he scored a brace in his second game. So two games in, he's got five goals, which is more than his predecessor had all last year. So... He's looking dangerous from a goal-scoring perspective. We mixed in a couple more, and you notice a lot of clean sheets in there. And then, of course, we just saw moments ago, life ring the 1-0 win. So we're back for Amstetten today. Let's get to that. We're going to be playing on the road. So I'm going to go with our road tactic. We are the favorites. That's okay. Somner, Clark, 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 Clark. I want to put Clark up there. Actually, why is he on the bench? He's at 99%. No, I want I want Beigel in there. Beigel's going to start for me in, in place of Kosman. Grima, Gilroy on the wings. Sturm's in the middle. That is because Petrov is injured. He's going to be out three more weeks. He, he's going to miss about six weeks in total uh, with spra a sprained ankle. Malachik also with a groin strain. He's out for three more weeks, our starting uh, right back. So we're, you know, we're plugging a few holes here, but we're not looking bad. I like the depth. We've really upgraded keeper. I think we've added a quality uh, striker up top for us, for what we're expecting. And we do lose two of our, our probably our two of our three best players uh, in our two wingers. But I like I like one of the the guy on the left wing we already had at the club. The guy on the left on the right wing we signed this year, and I am really happy with both of those guys as potential replacements. So, all right, they get the first two shots. Three shots. There's one for us. It's off target. They're playing a 4-4-1-1. And not a whole lot happening here. Tell you what, let's let's go to the home tactic. Just because it's a little more aggressive. 
We're going to demand more. All right, they're focused. And this is a set piece for us. We've been pretty dangerous on these. Uh, we did lose our primary guy. Oh, I thought that was going top bins. And it's a good save by their keeper. That was on target, boy. Let me tell you. There's a header right into the midsection of Renouf. Oh, that's unlucky. All right. Well, we looked good, uh, but I'm going to tell him it was disappointing. We need to be winning. All right. Show some passion. All right, they don't respond to that. It hasn't been a bad idea to go to this tactic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn it. Yannick Flick, his first goal of the season. And it's a set piece that does us in. A missed header. Who missed it? Was it this guy? Was it Blazic? Yep, Blazic missed the header. Mm. Demand more. All right, they're focused. Come on, boys. All right. He's nervous. Let's bring on Villar. Gilroy for her. Let's bring Rustic on. Boy, he looked good at the end of last season, didn't he? And um, tell you what, Summer is not looking good. Callum Clark. Let's bring Clark on. Clark for Summer. We'll do a triple sub in the 78th minute. And we're going to go up to attacking here for the final 10 minutes. And we are going to go demand more. They're focused. They're uninterested. Come on, we've got to get one here. Nothing, not even a highlight. Holy crap. 15 to 7 on shots, but only two half chances created. We did lose a little bit of possession, but it wasn't horrific. Oh, I am going to go aggressive. I'm far from pleased. So we drop down to sixth in the table. Yeah, we definitely rue our missed chances. So now that we're into season two, you know, this is where we're going to start. You know, we've kind of gotten to know the team. We want to see some of the new players. Uh, let's play, uh, let's play Grazer or Grazer. Oh, actually, you know what? Wolfsburger is the team that got sent down. So let's play Tyrol and Wolfsburger in the next match. That way we can have a, a cup match. And then uh, Wolfsberger, who's, they're in fourth, but they're projected to go up this year. So we can use that as a measuring stick game. Of course, last year we had the measuring stick episode. And yeah, the stick told us that we didn't measure up. Uh, probably we'll see more of the same here, but we'll be back for that. That'll give us five more league matches to look at uh, from a how did we play perspective. Guys, let me know what you think of the transfers. Um yeah, it was pretty tough to get rid of our two two wingers, um, but I think it needed to be done. Uh, if we do take a look at finances real quick, you can see we're down to 3.2 million. We were pushing 3.9 uh, as things stood, and you can see our transfer budget did go up a little bit, but you know that's I'm not worried about that. But we did cut back on our our payroll, and we were almost three million. 2.55 at the end of the season last year. And now we're at just under a million, but we've made a million and a half this year. And most of that was in the transfer window by selling some players. So we did a good job. Uh, I am happy with the business. I think we've got a good enough depth. You know, there, there's our depth striker. We've got uh, Kosman supposedly is our best guy, but he's only got a seven finishing. I think he's more of a, you know, number 10 playing that attacking mid rather than striker. I'm probably going to try to sell him to be honest, because I don't think he's good. Yeah. He's not good enough to play the central mid or the, and he can't cross. So I don't think he's good enough for the right wing. I don't know. So I'm feeling summer and, Clark is a good option, and Vergie, 
So, uh, you know, those are going to be my three main guys. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and offer him out. See if I can get a... Uh... We did get an offer, and it was four, like 435, 375. But uh, I told him if somebody, and he got mad when I told him no, but I said, dude, you got a release clause. They know what it is. Uh, right wing, I think we're where we need to be with, uh, you know, some decent reserves. We've got uh, Rustic, Lubkey, and Baum on the left side. Grima's not going to factor in there since he'll be starting. It says Sturm is going to be our new central mid. I think I would like to maybe keep Petrov there and move Sturm to the defensive mid, possibly. Hello, Bill. Can I help you? Hi. Um, I might try that. And then, of course, Fitzpatrick and Quinn are battling it out for the keeper job. So I'm going to probably rotate those guys for a little while, see who is performing the best. But uh, we will worry about that next episode. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. And uh, we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.